Hey, uh, Naveed here. Uh, just wanted to talk about the ilioinguinal iliohypogastric nerve block. Uh, this whole video idea started with uh, one of the surgeons coming up to me last week um, when I asked her whether she wanted to block on her first two inguinal hernia patients. And um, I asked because she hadn't booked it that way. She normally does. And she said, oh, I didn't realize you would be here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted on those two patients and my other two also, uh, which started me thinking, my group's really high quality, and uh, why would she change her whole plan just because I was here? Um, so to me, I thought I'd make a quick video on this. This is a really easy nerve block. Um, I don't really like doing tap blocks. I don't think they have a really high efficacy rate compared to like every other nerve block that there is out there. Um, but this one seems to be close to like 90 or 100%. Um, it's very simple to do. I think it's easier to do than uh, a tap block. Um, I think it's just that people don't have any experience with it or knowledge of how to do it. Um, if you have basic block skills, uh, I think you can quickly learn this block and add it to your armament. Start by uh, placing the patient supine and uh, identify the anterior superior iliac spine and place one side of your probe on it and then point the other part of your probe towards the umbilicus and start slowly moving your ultrasound out towards the umbilicus. You may have to move it a little bit cephalad or caudad in order to get the proper view that you're really looking for. Uh, you'll identify an artery, um, and this is one branch of the iliac artery. You may see the ilioinguinal nerve. You may see the iliohypogastric nerves. Um, I don't go hunting for them anymore. Um, to me, it's not really necessary. Um, if you do a good dense fuel block here, you will get everything that you need to get. Um, so find that spot dissect the planes out and inject 10 milliliters as indicated in this picture. Um, when that's all said and done, uh, pull the needle out and you should be all set. Uh, word of caution, um, here it's better to use lower volumes with um, a higher concentration of local anesthesia than the other way around. Um, using a higher volume, 20, 30 mLs of local can lead to an in, in, inadvertent uh, femoral nerve block. And uh, it's happened to me. Uh, I don't feel like repeating that. A uh, patient had to go home with a knee immobilizer. It wasn't a whole lot of fun for anybody involved. So um, you can avoid that. Just do a low volume block and it won't happen to you. Um, but email me. Let me know how this works. Um, let me know if there's any tips in the video that you would change. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.